Hey Conway, today is Wednesday, January 7th, 2015, and you're watching the CHS Student News. I'm Matt. And I'm Peyton. And, and here's, here's your, your news. news. Uh, the evening of the arts presented by the dance and drama team departments are tonight. Uh, it is from 6 to 7.30 p.m. in the main auditorium, if you're interested. In local news, a South Carolina sheriff has been accused of driving more than 100 miles per hour, speeding through a red light and nearly losing control of his vehicle shortly before he was charged with drunk driving. The sheriff's name is Wayne DeWitt and he was arrested one week after he was charged with DUI and leaving the scene of an accident. I can't believe that's what the sheriffs are doing. This is in Charleston, South Carolina. That's so sad. It's crazy. In world news, there was a shooting at the office of a satirical magazine in Paris this morning. Two gunmen burst in and began firing. They killed 12 people and then fled on foot, which is stupid. Yeah, this is very sad. and. It's sad that the fact that it was a satirical magazine, too. They were yeah. people were obviously making lighthearted uh, news. Uh, it was called a terrorist attack by French President Francois Hollande. And it is said uh, to have been the deadliest French terrorist attack in 20 years. All right, Conway, it's time for the Club and Goddess Report. Hello, Conway. I'm Austin with your Club and Guidance news. Um, Night of the Arts. It's in the main auditorium on January 7th from 6 to 8. Tiger Anglers. Um, they meet in the mini auditorium on January 12th from 6 to 7. Internet Club. They're meeting in room A104, January 13th from 325 to 4. Exams. Wednesday, January 14th is the first and second block exam. And Thursday, January 15th, is the third and fourth block exams, and that day is a half day. Scholarships. Attention seniors. Scholarships are being posted on the Conway High School webpage under the Guidance tab. FAFSA Workshop. Attention seniors, HGTC will be conducting a free FAFSA Federal Student Aid Workshop Thursday, January 15th at 6 o'clock in the mini auditorium. And that's all we have for today. Have a great day. Now for the weather. Hey Conway, I'm Julia. I'm Andrew. And, and we're, we're here, here with, with your weather, weather forecast. forecast. Today's high is 51 degrees. Tonight's low is 18 degrees. Tomorrow's high is 36 degrees. That's all for your weather, Conway. Thank you for watching. <laughs> okay, Marcus and Jameer, let's hear the sports. What's going on, Conway? What's going on? What's up? This is Marcus. This is Jameer. And I'm Jim with your Conway High School Sports News. Last night, the Conway High varsity team they faced the St. James Sharks. Uh, the Conway High girls rallied in the second half to beat St. James Sharks. Congratulations. And some stats for Conway is the Carrie Chapman 13 points, Nisi Hemingway 13 points, Mimi Williams 17 points, Anasia Evans 5 points, Keshonda Adams 6 points, Shoshana Cox 2 points. Conway girls record is 7-4. Conway, the Conway boys basketball team came into Tuesday's game with a top 10 state ranking and one of his best starts in program history. The Sharks defeated Conway 57-52, making sure their season opening loss to the Sharks remained the only blemish on otherwise perfect record. For Conway stats, Jalen Hennigan had 21, Tyrell Denny had 1, Christian Jeffords had 12, Trinique Richardson had 6, Brian Edward had 6, and Bernard Venable had 6 points also. Conway High's varsity boys basketball team record is 10 and 2. Now to the sports lineup. This Wednesday, the Conway High wrestling team will have a tournament here at Conway at 5:30 p.m. The boys, the boys varsity basketball game was held yesterday, and they lost against St. James, 56 to 51. The girls varsity basketball team won 56 to 42. Tomorrow, Thursday, 
January the 8th, 2015, the Conway High JV basketball team will be facing North Murder Beach Chiefs at North Murder Beach at 6 o'clock p.m. Also, anybody who's interested in playing soccer, soccer conditioning after, will be held after school on Wednesdays and Fridays from 3.45 to 4.30. You must have a physical to participate. That's all for your Conway High School Sports News. We out. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Now let's see the feature of the day. Hi, this is Demisha and Bria with the Tiger News feature of the day. If your teachers have shared with you our final days of first semester, then you have seen what our exam schedules look like. We have four days of EOC testing and two days of final exam. We decided to get some studying suggestions from one of our curriculum coordinators, Mrs. Kelly Wilson. Think um, it's very important. Exams um, can they'll be 20% of your grade, and so it's a very important time for students to be ultra prepared. I think um, studying not just the night before and not into the wee hours of the night. Cramming is is sometimes necessary, but not not the best strategy. I think if you were um, to study a little bit all along. Um, and making sure you're taking advantage of all the tools that your teacher gives you. A lot of times your teachers will give you your old test to look at, and that's an excellent way to review. Um, going through the old test, making sure you understand and remember the ones you got right, making sure you understand and, and know how to correct the questions you got wrong. A lot of times this will help um, you know, bring back that knowledge that you, you had for a whole semester. It's a lot of material to keep up with, and so I think using things like your old test, if your teacher gives you a study guide, um, that's excellent because you know your teacher's prepared um, the study guide probably looking at your exam. So it gives you kind of an, an idea to focus in on some things that, um, that are probably going to be tested on the exam. Um, getting enough sleep, that we, we take that for granted, I think, especially young people. We feel like we can stay up all night, but I think getting enough sleep the night before, preparing ahead of time, getting enough sleep the night before, and be, feeling really confident and prepared when you come into the test, I think that's, that's key. Um, for teachers, I think it's, it's very important for teachers to prepare your students for what's coming. Um, I think that um, it's, it's important to let students know what's going to be tested um, and, and what the expectations are. Um, any help as far as study guides go, as far as letting uh, them review old tests or quizzes, um, holding tutoring sessions before an exam, I think is, is a good, good thing. And most of our teachers here at Conway High School are very good at that. Um, so students, make sure you take advantage of those opportunities that are given. Thanks, Ms. Wilson. Here are some other really good strategies we found on WikiHow. And here are some tips from WikiHow on good studying strategies. Make sure you are studying in a clean, quiet, and orderly room. Turn on the light. Consider turning the TV off. Decide if music is right for you. You need to get plenty of rest <clears throat> before the test. Eat healthy and eat light. Find the right hours. Don't study if you're really tired. Start as early as possible. Ask for help. It is always a good way to relax as much as you can before you begin to have your study. Before you start studying, you have to get a good focus on the objectives of your work. Plan ahead. Create a timetable. Do some research on your exam. Write yourself a study guide. Use your notes. Take breaks. Think positive, but work hard. And work with others. Good luck during exam season and try to stay stress free. Now back to Matt and Peyton. Thanks for watching from the WTGR Newsroom. I'm Matt. And I'm Peyton. Have a great day, Conway.